In this tutorial, we will take a look at the difference between deleting a web part and closing a web part. For this demonstration, I am working on the IT site. This page currently has two web parts, one for the IT Forms Library and one for the FAQ list. I will add one more web part for their internal task list. So I'll choose Site Actions, then Edit Page. I'm going to click Add a Web Part. And from the List and Libraries category, I will insert the internal task list. And then I will also quickly modify the appearance of this web part. Go into Edit the Current View. Deselect some of these columns. Scroll down here a bit. I'm going to sort by the due date. And then I want to group the tasks by who they're assigned to. And if you'd like more detailed information about modifying web parts, please see the tutorial titled Introduction to Web Parts. Now let's say down the road I decide to remove this task list from the page and add other content. So I will remove this web part using the close option. The close option removes the web part from the page but maintains any modifications made to the web part. So to close the web part, I go to the web part menu and select close. And the web part is removed from the page. Now watch what happens when I insert the task list again from the list and libraries category as I did before. Click on add a web part. From the list and libraries category, again I'll choose internal tasks as did before. Add it to the page. So you'll notice it is inserted with the default task list web part formatting with all of the columns that I had removed the first time and it is not grouped by employee. To redisplay the formatted web part I closed earlier, I go to Add a Web Part, but this time from the Categories list, instead of selecting it from the list in Libraries, if I scroll down to the bottom, there's a category called Closed Web Parts, and there I find the web part that I closed, Internal Tasks, I'll add it. When this is added to the page, you'll see that it has retained the modifications I made to it. You'll also notice that because I have the same list added to the web page twice in two different web parts, I have internal task 1 and internal task 2. So first I'm going to delete this internal task 1 web part. Go into the web part menu and choose delete. When you delete a web part, you get this message confirming that you are about to permanently delete the web part. What this message is letting you know is that the web part and any modifications to the web part will be deleted. So I'll choose OK. And then I'll also delete the modified web part. So again I go to the web part drop down menu, choose delete, and OK to confirm. So now by deleting that web part and not closing it, I've now lost that web part with its modifications. So I go to add the web part back in. List and libraries category, I'll scroll down the closed web part category is no longer there because I don't have any closed web parts. So from the list and libraries category I'll choose internal tasks, add that web part, and the task list web part is added back to the page with the default view. So there you can see the difference between closing and deleting a web part. When you close a web part the modifications made to the web part are saved. You just have to remember if you want to add the web part back to the page to add it from the closed web part category.